Hi, this is Danny from Coffee Tea and PvP. Today I want to talk to you about upgrading your gear, tweaking it out, and enchanting it in the end game in Arc Age. Alright, so let's talk about why gear is important in Arc Age. In Arc Age, if you don't have good gear, you're going to be fighting at a serious disadvantage. People are going to have twice as many hit points as you. They're going to have twice as much damage as you. And the way the combo system in this game works is it's a, a certain amount of gambling for how many of their combos you can survive before they kill you and how many of your combos it's going to take for you to kill a player before they drop. Gear makes a big difference in that factor. So, gear is important. Now, when you talk about what type of gear you want to spend time and money and effort in, the way the system works, it gives you the illusion that you can upgrade any piece of gear and make it a great piece of gear, but that's just not true. If you start by trying to improve a bad piece of gear, it's still going to be a bad upgraded piece of gear. So it's going to be a really nicely upgraded piece of junk, like putting lipstick on a pig. You got to get better gear before you put the time and effort into investing the resources and upgrading it, or you're just going to be hurting yourself in the long run. All right, so let's talk about the different types of gears that you can get that will help you to improve your character. Now, the simplest, the very simplest, most basic way, you want great gear, no messing around, you want to know what you're getting, you buy it from the auction house. All right? It costs a lot of gold. It takes time. Some people, you know, they have, they have the Midas touch. They know how to make a lot of gold really easily. If that's you, start saving up gold and start collecting celestial pieces, celestial weapons, celestial gear. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but that's what you really want to be shooting for. So you can regrade your gear, you can, you can tweak it out, make it how you want it. For everybody else, you're going to have to look at the different options for grinding out your gear. For a lot of people, the, the faster grind is to go ahead and, and start by doing some of the quests and the dungeons to get your initial set of gear to help carry you over the long, almost sick grind that it is for the crafting system to upgrade your crafted gear. If this is you, then you're going to want to hit up the Hostile Token Grind to get yourself a nice weapon, and you're going to want to hit up the Greater Howling Abyss Dungeon to get yourself your first set of dungeon armor gear. This gear, in general, is about equal to what most players would consider a magnificent crafted weapon and crafted armor set. It's not bad. It's not the best. So let's talk about the crafting system here. Crafting in this game it can get a little complicated, but I'm going to break it down. I'm going to try to keep it simple. With crafted gear, there's two major characteristics that are going to determine how good that piece of gear really is. The first is going to be its tier, which is denoted by its name. It's like apprentice, craftsman, artificer, artisan, conqueror, illustrious, magnificent, ethereum, delphinod, and ionod. Right? Okay. So the higher level tier the better the, the base of the gear is. This is your foundation for how good the gear ultimately can be. Higher is better. Higher is also harder to get. You get these higher tiered pieces of gear by working with your crafter. Every time a crafter makes a piece of gear, when it's one of the higher tiers of that gear, there's a random chance what comes out is going to be upgradable to the next level tier. That chance goes down the higher up you go. Towards the top, you're looking at a 1 in 7 chance. Now, if it's not the type that you can use, it still turns out into a pretty nice piece of gear, but it's not going to go any higher. If you want to take it higher, you have to do all the steps before it all over again. It gets ugly. But it's not the worst, because the second characteristic is the quality of your gear. Now, this is designated by the color of your gear. There are also multiple tiers of quality. The higher level quality, the better that piece of gear is going to be. It makes a big difference. Unfortunately, it's also the most wicked, nasty system in the game. The reason I say this is because when you're upgrading your gear past unique, there's a chance that when you try to upgrade the quality of your gear, it can be destroyed. You upgrade your gear by using a regrade scroll and if you have the extra resources by putting a charm into that piece of gear and then just to and just combining it right out of your inventory bag. Keep in mind, the higher you go, the more the risk, and the more the cost. Now, something you should take a look at when you're using those regrade charms on your gear, 
the percentage bonus is not additive. It actually modifies the base percent. So if you're upgrading a level where you have like a 30% chance that it's going to, to move up to the next level and you put a 100% regrade charm in it, it doesn't give you 130. It's going to give you 60. Uh, math, right? Lots and lots of math. math. If you don't get it, basically what I'm trying to say is that regrade charms are nice. You need them, but they're far from a sure thing. I'm going to post down some stats in my in my description so you can see how these break down. You can see the flow charts. You can see just how massive the crafting system really is and why it is such a gigantic grind. With all that taking into consideration, when you're looking at upgrading the quality of your tier, keep in mind that end game is usually considered around celestial. Taking it up past celestial is such a gamble that you almost need to count on losing that piece of gear when you try to upgrade it. Even the most mature Archage servers, you're not going to find a lot of players running around in gear that's better than Celestial because of the chances of it just getting destroyed when you try to take it up to the next level. A quick tip that you need to know about when you're regrading your gear is that you can actually skip an entire regrade tier by using what's called a resplendent regrade scroll. These scrolls are special and they're made using an item that comes randomly from the chests that are sold in the cash shop. But you can often find them for reasonable prices on the auction house and just buy them that way. It's definitely worth the extra gold investment if you're trying to regrade an item that's towards the top of its quality and you want to skip one of the tiers where you have a high chance of loss. So using one of these resplendent scrolls, you can actually go two categories and go directly from heroic to celestial. Or if you want to take a little bit more risk, you could go from unique to divine. A lot of the hardcore players are going to have two sets of gear. They're going to have their set of gear that they're using and they're, they're playing the game in. And then they're going to have their set of gear that they're just sort of building and they're keeping as their gambling chip. They're hoping that as they level that gear up, whatever piece they're working on is going to be, become better than what they're using and that they'll replace that piece with it when it comes to it. Something kind of cool about crafting gear is that it does not bind on equip. You can take it, you can use it, you can, if it's regradable, you can regrade it later. You don't have to do it all in one shot. So, you know, you can, you can pause at whatever level you're comfortable with, come back with it, and, and give it a shot later on. The next mechanic for improving your gear is going to be all those glowy weapons. So the enchanting system, which is really a, a matter of like enchanting and socketing your gear. Of course, they don't name it that because that would be just way too simple, right? So what they call it is Luna Stones and Luna Gems. Luna Stones are the enchantment. You get one per piece of gear. These are also sometimes named Luna Frosts, but you'll always upgrade it by using the Luna Stone tab in your inventory. You get to that tab by coming down here, you click on the little box with the sword on it, and you'll see that you, you get the upgrading tabs here. So with these Luna Stones um, and Luna Frost, you get them from, you get them from uh, Honor Point Merchants, you get them from the Auction House, from Crafters, both Alchemists and Handicraft Merchants, or Handicraft Crafters make these, these items for upgrades. Luna Gems, or will go in the sockets of your gear. Now they're less powerful than the Luna Stones, but you get multiple ones of them. So you can, you know, use them to increase your focus or your toughness or your, you know, just a base stat like boosting up your agility or strength or intelligence. You get multiple ones of that. You have a little bit more leeway. You don't want to spend a lot of time doing enchantments to your gear by by socketing it and and putting frosts, uh, putting stones on it until you get to a piece of gear that you want to keep for for at least a couple weeks. The last thing I want to talk to you about is tempering. Tempering is uh, an additional way to upgrade your gear because you know you don't have enough already, right? But it's not as bad as the other ones. Um, it is random, unfortunately. You have between a one and nine percent chance to increase the offensive or defensive stats of your gear when you give it a temper. Tempering, you just buy an item from the auction house or from the marketplace. You buy yourself a temper. You pull out your gear. You pop it into your inventory and. Uh, Right there, just click on the temper, click on a piece of gear, and voila, you get to take your chance of upgrading that piece of gear. Now you may need to bust out the calculator to see exactly how much your gear has improved when you use it because it doesn't tell you, well, you have increased your gear by 9%. No, no, that'd be too easy. So um, if you don't like it, you can redo it. Just buy yourself a flux, takes it off, um, then buy yourself another temper, put it on, rinse, repeat until you get the, the percentage stat you're, you're happy with. 
one to nine percent you know it's not going to be overall dps remember that's just dps on that weapon or magic attack on that weapon so you know it makes a difference it doesn't make a huge difference but it's still nice it's definitely worth doing and it's going to be the final way that you can upgrade your gear when you've got a piece you're going to be holding on to for a couple weeks all right, so that should get you started with a basic guide for how to upgrade and, and improve your gear at the end game in Arc Age. I am hoping these guides are helping out. I've been getting some tells in game, and you know, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate them. They're really great tells. Um, I appreciate the follows. You guys have been a wonderful community, and uh, I'm always happy to help if you have any questions. Thinking about streaming, so we'll probably be doing some of that. I'll, I'll put a link to my Twitch channel in chat. You guys can check it out. You can ask me questions there if you like to. Um, and once again, thank you. This has been Danny from Coffee, Tea, and PvP. Take care. Hope this chest's worth it.